Hello guys, so one of the most popular comment on my YouTube videos about Google Search Console is your website page is not being indexed. And this question has been asked so many times, so I said, okay, let's create a dedicated video about it. In this video, I'm going to give you five actionable steps you can implement on your website to make sure your website pages are being indexed on Google. So let's start with point one. So point one would be check Google Search Console for errors. So make sure you create a Google Search Console account, then you need to go in Search Console account and go to pages and you can find multiple reasons why they're not indexed. So the page was redirected, you have some redirect on your website, that's why page is not indexed. You might have problem with alternate pages, proper canonical tag, or page is not found, or duplicate user, user selected canonical. And I create videos on all these topics, you can find the link in description to all these videos. But I need you to understand, there's some issues on your website, that's why your website pages are not being indexed. It is not like Google don't want to index your website pages, it is because you have some issues on the pages, that's why they're not being indexed. And also very good thing what you can do, you can go to your website and for example if I go to my blog page, I can copy the URL, you can copy URL of your website and then you can inspect any URL here and click on it. And then Google retrieve data, you can see if the page is indexed on Google or not. Sometime in support it shows page has some issue but when you check the real time data, page is already indexed. And for example you can go in section here, page indexing and then you can find the reason why page is not indexed. And trust me guys, I created so well researched amazing videos about Search Console. You can find the link in description for all those videos which will really improve your knowledge and you can solve any issues you can see in Search Console of your website and you can index the pages of your website on Google. Okay, the second actionable step would be to ensure pages are at least scrollable. I want you to type your site URL slash robots.txt and you need to make sure here you're not disallowing any page which you want to index on Google. A lot of time what happens by mistake or by any other reason, sometimes people block crawlers to crawl your website. So make sure in your robots.txt file, you're not disallowing Google or other search engine to not crawl your website pages. So make sure you're allowing all the pages you want to crawl. And make sure you're disallowing the pages you don't want to be crawled by Google or other search engine. Because what happens when search engine, they try to crawl the pages which you don't want to index on Google, you are just wasting a crawl budget. So make sure robot.txt file is good. I create a complete knowledgeable video about this topic. You can check the link in description and you can master crawl budget and crawl budget optimization. Another thing you need to check is the page do not have no index tag. You can go to your website page and then you can go to your source code. You can use control U or you can right click on the page and then you can click on view page source. If you find a no index tag on the page, that means you are saying to Google do not index my website pages. It's not you, sometimes it might happen because of wrong configuration of your SEO plugin, your website might face this issue. So make sure the page in question do not have no index tag on that page. The next action level step would be make sure you're using at least one nice SEO plugin on your website. You can use all-in-one SEO plugin, Rank Math plugin, Yoast SEO plugin, any good SEO plugin available free on WordPress. You do not need to use a paid version, just use the free version of any other plugin. I use Rank Math on my website, Yoast is really good, all-in-one SEO is also good. Use any SEO plugin, but make sure you use SEO plugin because a lot of settings are there which can help your website SEO. Page can be indexed better and quickly on Google search engine. And I created a video about Rank Math Yoast SEO, all in one SEO plugin, all these plugins. Check the link in the description to get the best configuration. Make sure everything is set up correctly. And even you can manage robots.txt file and no index tag from this plugin. It is really important when you use WordPress, you have this kind of plugin installed on your website. If you don't have any problem with your website, you're using Rank Math or SEO plugin, or your SEO is really good on your website and your pages do not have a no index tag, robots.txt is really good, you have no issue on the website, but still page is not indexed on Google, what do you need to do? So this is the actionable step number four. You need to improve your page content and quality. Yes, we all think we write the best blog posts, but sometimes it is not true. You need to think about it, what unique quality I'm providing in this my blog post. Why my content is better than other pages which already exist on the internet. Because Google may choose to not index the pages, because Google thinks my low quality or that kind of content is already written. So make sure content you're writing, it is well written. You have headings, h1 tag, h2 tag, h3 tags, you have bullet points, your table of contents. Even you can add the images on a blog post. I do not copy the content from anywhere because if you copy content from anywhere, Google will understand this is a duplicate content. And Google will say, okay, we are not going to index this page because this content doesn't have anything new. It already exists on the internet. So guys, sadly, yes, if everything looks good on your website and Google still not indexing website pages after a few months, you need to improve your content. I will add a link to some important videos how you can improve your content quality. Make sure you check those links. Okay, the last actionable step, if everything is good, content quality is the best, you don't have any issues on your website, a good plugin is used, SEO is good, everything is good. What can be the issue? Okay, so the issue can be, a lot of bloggers start blogging, they use cheap hosting. And cheap hosting might be the issue that your website pages are not indexed on Google. 
because when you buy a super cheap hosting or a free hosting, sometimes when Google bot comes to your website to crawl the website, your website is not available because your website hosting is shared by a lot of other people. Of course, not all shared hosting are bad, but I recommend to use a good hosting. So when crawler come to your website, your website is available. And website can handle the crawlers coming from Google. I'm not going to tell you to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on hosting. You can buy some nice hosting like Bluehost, like Hostinger, Cloudways, A2 Hosting. The real nice hosting and they have nice plans which you can buy for like one or two dollars a month or three dollars a month. And they're really good option for beginners. If you want my recommendation for the best hosting, check the links in the description. I'll add some coupon codes also so you can get the maximum benefit for the best hosting for your blog or your website. Guys, let me know if you have some more questions about SEO, your website, your pages. I will reply to all the comments on this channel. I'm really happy to help you out. And like always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. These videos take a lot of time to create. I really appreciate if you can drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Now please share this video with somebody who wants to learn more about SEO and web development.